Hi everyone, today I'm doing a Lord of the Rings makeup. I'm doing the Mouth of Sauron. The mouth of this character is like so grotesque and I can't wait to paint that part on. And the rest of it, I'm gonna be doing the helmet with cardstock paper and I will show you how I do that. For today's look, I'm using my airbrush. I'm using my Mayron paint palette. I have an eyeshadow palette, Prose prosthetic glue, Elmer's glue and cardstock paper. So I just laid down the template for the mouth, meaning like I just blocked out the shapes of the teeth and the shape of the mouth, and I will definitely be adding detail to these things. And now I put on this chin prosthetic and I'm gonna be cutting it to create that slit uh, down the middle to, this is a foam latex prosthetic. I buy these pre-made. Uh, it's already glued down, so hopefully that cut, um, it's, you know, that tear looks pretty realistic, especially once I make this my skin color. Uh, and the character's skin color is very pale, so we'll see if I need to go any paler than I already am. So the next thing that I'm going to do is start to block out the shape of this crown. The next piece actually layers on top of this one. Kind of got to bend around my nose. Because they're layered, I'm going to paint the pieces as I layer them. The metal is kind of like, it looked like hammered metal. So I'm not trying to make this layer super smooth. I find this stuff so fun. Just like this discovery of like, What's gonna look good? Is this technique gonna work? Because I do it all in the moment and I think that that can be really special. I don't know about you, but that looks like metal to me. Sweet. Cool. Seven more pieces to do. It's a labor of love. <laughs> I can hardly see. I definitely think this new look that they have is really interesting for him. It's a lot of people have compared like the new look to Eminem. I do just think more like Draco Malfoy that like bleach blonde, really intense like facial structure. So I'm excited for that character. I don't necessarily think that that's a makeup that I'll do because it's not intense enough, but I hope that some of the orcs and some other new characters get introduced that I could get inspiration from. I have to add on these pieces. I pre-painted these ones because it would be really hard to reach in the back of my head. Instead of gluing these ones, I'm gonna try and bobby pin them into my hair. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. It is so hot under this paper thing that I made as the helmet and these pinholes, obviously it was super difficult to paint using just these. I mean, I really can't see my peripheral at all. So I hope you appreciate the work that went into today's piece. I think it came out really cool. Again, I'm so excited for this series to come out and I hope there's some really cool new makeups to be able to tackle. Um, but in the meantime, I will be doing more Lord of the Rings looks. So thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you next time.